Hello and welcome to my channel, Woven Wonders Tarot. This is a reading for Gemini. Gemini, this is your About Last Night reading where we take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using my Light Sears Tarot deck along with my This Might Hurt Tarot deck. And as you can see, I've already meditated, shuffled, and pulled your cards. All of my cards are read in the upright position. So let's get started, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, today this row represents you and this row represents your person. We're going to start with you. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Four of Cups. You have the Strength card. And finally, you have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like what's going on here is there's a brand new fire ignited within you. So with this Ace of Wands, there's something that you're passionate about, something that's brand new and exciting and just now getting started for you, Gemini. I feel like, you know, with this Ten of Pentacles, this represents to me your, your home life. You know, you might um, own your own business or this could represent your family life. So let's see what this Ten of Pentacles means or what's going on with it. You do have the Four of Cups, so I think that's what's going on. I feel like you're bored with this Four of Cups. You're bored with this, your home life. So I don't know whether I'm talking to some Geminis who are, if you're already in a connection, if you're already married, I feel like you have a family or something like that, okay? And I feel like you're bored. I do feel like I'm talking to some Geminis bored with their current um, situation. Four of Cups also means that you could be taking, you know, a good thing for granted. So let's see how this unfolds. All right. So you do have the Strength card. So the Strength card is kind of like holding yourself back. It's liking something a lot um, and then trying to, you know, control your animal instincts, as we should say. And this is a romance reading. If it was something else, I would, you know, it would mean something else. But in a romance and love reading, I feel like you want to move um, quickly towards someone. You have strong feelings about someone, okay, and you're trying to control those um, those instincts. You do have the Knight of Cups, so I do feel like there's someone who you really like. This Knight of Cups is super romantic. I feel like you're in a situation. This really matches this Ace of Wands, a brand new situation with someone who is super romantic and someone who you really like a lot, okay? Um, you like this person a lot, and you're trying to control yourself, and it may be that you're trying to control yourself because you're already in a situation, Gemini. Um, but this this is, means boredom. And you mean maybe you you know if you're not married or something like that, it could mean that maybe you live with your family, you live with your parents, something like that. But your home life is boring. This screams that my home life is boring. Okay. Um, this is not a job reading, so I'm not saying it's your job. It's your home life. Um, you know, or, or just could be whatever you're doing, you, you know, if, if it is a job situation, it's you own your own business and it's maybe not producing what you wanted, but you know, this is a romance reading. So let's look at your person. Let's see what's going on. So your person has the six of cups. Your person has the queen of pentacles. All right. Your person has the four of pentacles, the three of wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So very interesting, Gemini. I feel like this Knight of Cups person for you is someone from your past with the Six of Cups. So I think the past has come back around. So this could be someone that, you know, you knew from the past. You didn't necessarily date this person. You could have dated this person or it's just really someone from your past who, you know, uh, has gotten back in contact with you. This person, um, you know, has the, the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is someone who, you know, has it, has it all together, a good job, a good home. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is a good provider. So I feel like this person, you know, does have that, you know, maybe someone with a good job. You do, I'm going to skip all the way over here to the Six of Pentacles. So this person is able to give to you, able to provide to you. So this person might be telling you, you know, I can, I can help you out. Maybe if we go back to this 10 of pentacles, maybe, you know, you are having issues when it comes to, you know, making money or a work situation, but this person is offering to help you. This person is saying that I can help you out. Um, I feel like, 
well, you do have the four, you know, your person has the four of pentacles, but I don't feel like this is being stingy with money. You know, it's a contradiction. You have the four of pentacles and the six of pentacles. So, you know, I feel like the six of pentacles, of course, trumps this one. This is, I want to give to you. I feel like the four of pentacles goes with this three of wands. I feel like this person is saving money to come see you. I feel like, yeah, that's what's going on. This person is putting, setting money to, money aside to either come see you or trying to figure out how they can get you to them, okay? You know, this person could be waiting for someone to come toward them too, waiting for, you know, waiting for a ship to come in to sail in. So this person might be, um, you know, saving money for a trip or saving money to get you to, to them. Or also this four of pentacles could mean just a little bit of suffocating. So watch out, your person might have that little suffocating, obsessive um, uh, personality. Your person really does like you, Gemini. The bottom of their deck is the sun card. So that's wonderful, positive feelings. I feel like this person has really good intentions toward you. Um, for you, the bottom of the deck for you is the um, eight of swords. So I feel like you feel stuck. You feel stuck in your current situation. I'm really feeling like this, if we go back to this 10 of pentacles, this could be that you are already in a connection. Not saying that if, you know, that connection is good or bad, but I feel like whatever this 10 of pentacles means to you, whether it's you're already married and you already have a family or whether you live with your family or whether it's your own business, whatever this 10 of pentacles means to you, Gemini, you feel bound to it, you feel stuck, okay? Um, so it might affect this particular uh, situation. The next card down for you, Gemini, you know, you do have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you're trying to um, figure out what you wanna do. The Queen of Swords thinks logically and, you know, is gonna make the right decision, the best decision. So um, those are the two cards, the bottom of the deck for you. I thought that was interesting. So I you know, talked about the second one down. But that's what I uh, see, Gemini. I do feel like, you know, there's someone who, um, that you know from your past, to summarize this reading, someone that you know from your past is back in your life and they are offering you the world. They're, they're offering to help you out. This person does have what it takes to support you. So, you know, they're not, they're, they're not talking a, a game, whatever they, they can, they can back up whatever it is that they promise. But I feel like, you know, so, you know, with the Six of Pentacles, they can really, really back it up. Um, this person will do whatever they need to do to get you to come toward them or they're going to come toward you. But I feel like for some reason, this right here, only you know what it is. This boredom surrounding this Ten of Pentacles, only you know what that is. So um, that's what I see today, Gemini. So good luck with the situation. <laughs> and thank you for stopping by and watching my video and have a wonderful day.